Hello lovely listeners welcome back to Love English Lessons the podcast where we are on a mission to help you master the beauty of the English language I'm your host Manoj and today we're diving deep into a topic that can make a world of difference in your English journey pronunciation tips pronunciation is a key to effective communication and it can sometimes be a bit tricky in English with its myriad of sounds and accents but don't worry by the end of this episode you'll have some valuable tips to enhance your English pronunciation Let's kick off things with one of the most challenging aspects of English pronunciation, vowel sounds. English has a plethora of vowel sounds and it's crucial to get them right. For instance, the difference between bit and beat lies in the pronunciation of the vowel sound. To improve your vowel sounds, practice by repeating words with similar sounds and pay attention to tongue placement and lip rounding. Moving on to consonant sounds, one that often trips up learners is the th th sound as in this or think many non native english speakers tend to replace it with a z or s sound to nail the th gently place your tongue between your upper and lower front teeth and exhale producing the distinctive th sound practice words with th sounds to get it just right now let's talk about stress patterns English is a stress timed language which means that some syllables in words are pronounced with more emphasis than others this can vary even within words for example in photographer the emphasis is on the second syllable photographer understand the using stress patterns correctly can significantly improve your pronunciation here's a practical tip pay attention to native speakers listening to how native speakers pronounce words phrases and sentences can be immensely helpful Watch English movies, listen to podcasts, and mimic the way they speak. This can help you grasp the natural rhythm and intonation of the language. Another crucial aspect of pronunciation is intonation. English speakers use rising and falling intonation patterns to convey meanings. Rising intonation typically signals a question, while falling intonation indicates a statement or completion of a thought. Practice speaking in different intonation patterns. to become a more expressive communicator let's wrap up today's episode with a golden rule practice 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 like any skill pronunciation improves with consistent effort engage in daily pronunciation exercises record yourself speaking 